Hello YouTubers, the Chilean Retro Gamer here. Welcome to QA Session Part 3. Okay, let's start this. Figure 8077. He says, What's your favorite childhood memory with a retro video game? Well, I think I explained to you um, that I hadn't any console, video game console, during my childhood till I was 16, 17 years old. Uh, so I don't have any memory, let's say, uh, from a video game console. So the only, I mean, my favorite or, or, or the childhood memory I remember most is when I spent entire afternoons in the arcades when I was eight, nine, seven years old. But not necessarily playing in the arcades. I enjoyed a lot uh, watching others' performance, uh, playing some games such as Mortal Kombat 1, 2, and 3. Little Enforcers, uh, Street Fighter 2, of course, Tumble Pop, uh, Snow Brothers, uh, what else? Um, the King of Fighter 94, Samurai Shodown, uh, Super Sidekicks, etc. Lots of games, but again, not necessarily playing them, but enjoying a lot. Uh, others' performance, definitely. Uh, again, considering that I hadn't any any console, proper console, this is the the childhood memory I enjoyed. Or, or my favorite, or, or at least the, the memory I remember most, the arcades. Next question, uh, Quaha Boy asks, any SNES game recommendations? I'm trying to start up and beat a game every week or, or so. Just beat Joachim's Island, so any ideas on what I should play next? Well guys, you, the viewers, can help this this friend to choose any, any good SNES title, because personally I would recommend him uh, platformer games, um, so such as I don't know Mega Man X, the Donkey Kong Country Saga, um, Castlevania, I don't know the Mickey Mouse trilogy by Capcom, etc. But uh, I don't know. I, I would like to to to, to ask you uh, some recommendation for this friend, uh, a, a good title for you in your opinion. Um, that's it. Well, next question. Well, actually, next questions from Smiley2230 who asked me three questions. The first one says, Do you know all the secrets in games you play? Well, personally, I think this question is a bit complex because I need to remember, I need to analyze every single game I have played, I, I have finished. Anyway, um, I, normally I try to find every single secret in games I play. Uh, because when I finish the game, for instance, for the, for the first time, I don't feel comfortable enough uh, because I didn't find everything. Uh, so I need to start the game again and try it again, try to get everything again, try to find all the secrets and and all that. Uh, so I normally try to do it, but I have a sort of ideology here. Uh, when new levels are involved, I mean, when by by getting all the secret, or I mean, by getting all the necessary items or find all the secrets, uh, it's possible to play new levels, new worlds, etc. Uh, there, I make the the effort. Uh, otherwise, probably, uh, I don't know. I don't make any effort. Uh, for instance, in, in, in games such as Donkey Kong Country, the Donkey Kong Country saga in general, especially Donkey Kong Country 2 and 3, uh, it's necessary to get all the coins, all the items, to get new levels. Uh, and in these kind of examples, I make the effort and try to find everything. Again, I, I don't remember too many examples, to be honest, but I have this ideology. If there are more levels, new levels involved, I make the effort. That's that's it, as simple as that. Question number two. Can you show Nintendo 64 games? Well, strictly speaking, I can, but I don't want. Why? Simple. I don't cons- well, first of all, this is a retro gaming channel. And in my opinion, the Nintendo 64 is not part of retro gaming. For me, retro gaming is 
late 70s, the 80s and first half of the 90s. So, again, the Nintendo 64, in my opinion, doesn't belong to retro gaming at all. So, one more time, I can show these games, but I don't want. Anyway, there are some interesting titles from the Nintendo 64. Super uh, Mario Kart 64, Mortal Kombat Trilogy, um, Golden Eye, Perfect Dark, but apart from that, in general, I don't like Nintendo 64 games. Uh, so, I can show very few games, the, the ones I mentioned, but nothing else. So, if you pretend to request a game in particular, I'm sorry my friend, but forget about it. Okay, third and last question for now. Do you have all the emulators? Well, of course not. I don't have all the emulators. Probably you meant, do you have emulator for all the systems? Uh, and the answer here is no either. Because, uh, well, I, I have the most important, let's say, classic con uh, console emulators. SNES, Sega Genesis, TurboGrafx-16, NES, um, Atari 2600, etc. But I don't, I don't have all of them because um, I don't have the emulator for, I don't know, MSX or Commodore 64, to provide some examples. I don't have an emulator for uh, PlayStation 2 because uh, you know my opinion about modern gaming in general. I don't have all the emulators, so. That's it, I cannot add anything else. So, I think that's all for now. Um, you can keep asking as many questions as you wish, but please, about retro gaming. For me, Nintendo 64 is not part of retro gaming, so please be comprehensive in this sense. That's all, see you next time, bye bye.